What is my right when developer cancels pre-sale home in Canada? The Canadian Home Builders Association CHBA, said in a report released last week that high construction costs and rising interest rates are hurting developer confidence in the market. Two out of three builders tell CHBA that they're building fewer units, while 22% of developers have fully cancelled projects in recent months. When you're buying a pre-sale, you're really speculating on what the market's going to be like three, four or five years down the road, maybe more, he says. You might make a lot of money, but you take a lot of risk. And sometimes things don't go your way, as we're seeing right now with developers cancelling projects. There are certain rights in there that give the builder the option to terminate the agreement, typically include caveats for the developer to escape the contract. Yuka's not being able to secure zoning approval or building permits, or failing to achieve a certain sales target for the project. Developers can also say they failed to get financing for the project. Examples of builders cancelling units because the business case has changed, only to relaunch the project at a later date for prices 20-30% to 30 more than they originally listed. In today's market, many condo projects are coming to completion in a market where values are depressed. Here are some potential rights you may have. If a developer cancels a pre-sale home, they are required to refund any money you have paid towards the purchase. This typically includes the deposit and any additional payments made during the pre-sale process. The refund process may be governed by the terms of the purchase agreement or by local consumer protection laws. In most cases in BC buyers are entitled to get their deposit back on the project but not much else. Their contracts are fairly bulletproof and developer-friendly, and often the most common remedy is the buyer just gets the return of the deposit. Developers might not cancel a build outright, instead delaying the completion date if they think the project is salvageable. In Ontario, if a buyer opts to remain in the contract, they'll be entitled to delayed occupation compensation, which works out to $150 per day to a maximum of $7,500. Remember, the laws and regulations regarding pre-sale home cancellations can be complex and can vary across Canada. Seeking professional legal advice is crucial to understanding your rights and options in such situations.